Peace, peace. Greetings, greetings. It's Raku Day with the weekly awakening here. It's from Awaken Within. And uh, just wanted to do a video today on uh, precognitive dreams, going deeper with dreams. It seems like everybody has uh, experienced a lot more dreams, a lot more impactful dreams. I know I have been. And uh, I know a lot more people have been just reaching out to me and hit me up. People I know increasing how many dreams they ask for me to interpret. Just wanted to keep on this wave with dreams then and uh, talk about precognitive dreams. Going deeper with that. Share the video. Check out the video I have on different types of dreams and on top of just regular dreams that you interpret. Um, uh, I just released that last week. Uh, the four different types of dreams. Precognitive dreams, lucid dreams, um, incubated dreams, and visitation dreams. We have a video on visitation dreams and lucid dreams and how to have those. So now I'm doing this video on precognitive dreams. First, I'll have to break down exactly what dreams are a little more than what I do in most videos. And uh, dreams are messages to us from our inner self. It's essentially when we are dreaming, we are our consciousness is shifting from the physical body to our astral body. And when this happens, our astral body. Um, it, it, part of our soul is residing within the fourth dimension uh, using the subconscious mind. Whereas we're here in this physical realm in the third dimension using our conscious mind. When we go to sleep, our consciousness shifts from the physical body to the uh, astral body that is within the fourth dimension using the subconscious mind. And there's four different levels within the subconscious mind. You can check out my video, Structure of the Mind, um, in order to uh, better understand more of a uh, the subconscious mind, the four different levels there within. Since it is the fourth dimension and not the third dimension, third dimension, height, width, length, um, those are our three dimensions. And we're stuck in the present moment and stuck within the current space that we are occupying within that present moment. You know, I am here in the park and I'm locked in this space in this present moment. And if I want to go over to there, that's where I'll be in that present moment. And um, the fourth dimension is free of the limitation of time and space. So, you know, you you can, that's how you can have visitation dreams. Um, but also you can perceive different lines of probability. You can see into the future, um, you know, shamans and medicine men and um, chiefs and things throughout all of history have uh, used dreams to have visions and pre premonitions and things um, in order to perceive what, what may come and what is to come and what is likely to come. That is because it's, it's an experience within the subconscious mind that is free of time and space. And so being free of time and space, our subconscious mind can perceive different lines of probability, meaning different things that are more probable to happen than others based upon your current uh, state of your consciousness, your current and most recent actions and choices and thoughts and thought patterns and beliefs and all of that, all of the choices and thoughts and beliefs of those around you within your environment. And based upon all of that, there are certain things that are more probable to happen than others. And you, when you are dreaming, you have the opportunity to perceive those different things. That's why you can have different um, you know precognitive dreams where where future events show up within your dreams before they even happen and now that's not to say that uh, these precognitive events and experiences are destined to happen uh, because uh, because just by becoming aware of them you can change that you can um, alter what is to be experienced that's not to say that these precognitive events are destined to happen um, and that they, they will happen. But by being aware of them, you can make changes to keep them from happening, or you can instill certain practices or things, take a certain action in order to make sure that it happens, you know, depending on what you desire, depending on what event came through uh, in the premonition. And so just like visitation dreams and lucid dreams, um, a precognitive dream will have a different quality to it. It'll have a different feel. It'll be, it'll feel a little more real than a, a normal dream. Um, it'll have a different potency to it. And so pay attention to that and pay attention to when you have a precognitive dream. 
Like for example, one of my very first ones, this is before I ever even started studying dreams. Um, you know, like formally, I, I, my whole life I've tried to find any information I could on dream, but most information that I ever found seemed to be kind of bogus. And so um, I never really formally studied until I found somewhere that had actual uh, legitimate answers that I could, that resonated as truth within me. And so uh, my first experience before all of that was um, I had a dream of an old friend that I hadn't seen in like four years. And, um, and they just kind of showed up in the dream and it wasn't even that the event happened. Um, but I just knew when I woke up, just the quality was different and everything. And I just knew that I was going to run into them. Just what happened in the dream was I just ran into them. It was in the woods though. It was like the edge of the woods of this village. And I just kind of ran into them. And so when I woke up, I just knew that I was going to run into them. And, um, I had like, a, it was like four days later, I needed to get some brakes done on my truck. And um, I was just gonna, I mean, I had, I had done them before on like a, a smaller car and a Ford I had had years before, but um, I never done them on trucks. So I was like, well, I'm gonna figure it out. And uh, uh, YouTube was very early on. So I, I was like, maybe there might be a video on it or something, maybe not. <laughs> so it was just like uh, 10 years ago, maybe. And um, so I went to the auto place, auto parts store. And as I was looking for the different tools that I was gonna need before I ordered the parts here in walked, uh, my friend and another friend uh, along with them and they had another guy I didn't know but um, but the friend that I had dreamt about I, you know we were catching up and everything and I asked him what he had been doing he said all he had been doing lately was just working on cars for people <laughs> so, so it was perfect so I got him to fix my brakes and we got to hang out even more um, so it was just it, it, and it didn't really even surprise me that much uh, that he showed up it just surprised me as as the reality of what I thought and perceived was the case actually came to fruition. Meaning, I had, I had thought that it was a precognitive dream, and to some degree, that those events were going to happen. Intuitively, I knew that. And then, what surprised me was that it actually happened. Uh, which, you know, still to this day, I, I you know, understanding the universal laws and understanding how to uh, the mechanics of uh, manifestation and things, it's still you know shocks me and blows my mind every time it works <laughs> every time just as if it was brand new to me um just in amazement <laughs> but um so that's that's a precognitive dream now i do want to touch on deja vu a little bit because that's highly related because deja vu is when you are having a physical experience that you either feel or know depending on your level of perception uh, of the experience that you either feel or know that you've experienced before from within a dream. Now, this is the exact same experience. Both of these are the same experience. It's just different two areas of perception. Now, deja vu is when you are in the future event and realizing its connection to the dream. And a precognitive dream is where you are in the dream or have woken up from the dream knowing that there is a future event to come but it is the connection between the two points and it and the precognition and deja vu the only difference is your awareness and perception of that connection is it from the dream point or from the the uh, physical experience point and that's really the only difference you know it's kind of like uh, lucid dreaming and astral projection the only difference is that lucid dreaming is when people wake up already gone out of their body in the subconscious you know fourth dimension and astral projection is when you are conscious while you're leaving your body and coming back although there is lucid dreaming that does that too but you know like i said it's all the same exact experience just determined different ways just like you know all these religions have different names for God, but it's not, you know, all these different gods, or it's not one's right and all the rest are wrong. It's that every every one of those cultures being completely separate from each other when these uh, religions originated, um, you know, had to have their own way of per, uh, perceiving that and interpreting that experience. So it's so it's the same thing with uh, precognitive dreams and deja vu. So I just want to touch on that a little bit. I hope this video helped you, and um, you know, if not, then you know certainly hit the don't like button leave me a comment let me know what you didn't like about it um, maybe i can maybe i can make it better next time but if you did like it you know let me know that too um, if it helped you at all let me know if you have any dreams you want to interpret it let me know if there's a, if there's a specific symbol that i don't have on here that you want on here let me know that and I, i'll see about making that one of the next videos um, i love it i love it so keep, keep dreaming uh keep you know learning and knowing and understanding and experiencing your night dreams 
because uh, they will aid you in manifesting your daydreams. So keep, keep growing, keep uh, progressing in life. I love you all. And as always, I leave you. Peace.